Hi, this is David Schick. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use the Tap Mapper tool. Uh, this is a pretty easy thing to do. Uh, it's an online um, app at map.tapwithus.com. What you see here on my screen is the table that you're going to use to create your map and some control buttons that I'll explain as I go along. So first, explaining the table. On the left-hand side, there's the tap code. This is, these are these five circles that, of course, correspond to your fingers. And the, uh, the circle, which is colored in, is the, uh, the finger that's tapping, or the fingers that, that are tapping. In this first one, only the thumb, and I'll point out that this is a right-hand view, so, so the thumb is tapping. Um, I can, by the way, set it to a left-handed view uh, by clicking over here. Um, and so here, uh, it shows the mirror image. So on the left hand, this would be the thumb. And this does not affect the, uh, the mapping. It just affects visualizing the tap code. Uh, and I'm used to seeing it right-handed, so I'll unclick this. Uh, there are 31 of these tap codes. Um, and uh, that corresponds, of course, to the 31 unique positions that your hand can be in when it taps. And there are actually five different kinds of taps. So there are actually five tables. Um, one for single taps, which is the one that I'm in now, double taps and triple taps, um, taps that follow shift and taps that follow switch. So there's a total of five tables um, to, to program. On each of these, there are some reserved taps. So these two, shift and switch, are reserved over here, and they cannot be re reprogrammed. Um, but there's a total of about 140 taps that you can program, so there are, are quite a few. Um, okay, now to actually program it, all I have to do is I, I, um, I click in the character field, the one next to tap code, and now I go to my keyboard and I tap the letter that I want to associate with that tap. So I will tap, uh, I will press K. Mm -hmm. um, and now the letter K is associated with the thumb tap um, from this code. Um, if you see, it also uh, shows something called an HID code, uh, which is the numerical code that um, is used to communicate over Bluetooth what the letter is. Most of us don't have to worry about it, but uh, we show it for, for experts who may want to play with it. Uh, there's also a description field, and this is important if you're doing something that you want other people to be able to use, or even for your own use, if you want to remember what the mapping does, um, because this information is exported into a, a, um, a PDF file, which is a glossary. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit, but right now I'm just going to write fire, which would be, let's say, a game control if I hit K in this particular hypothetical case. Um, all right, and so th this is now mapped. But let's say I want to also map um, something like that uses one of the, the modifier keys. The modifier keys are um, control, this is on a Mac, control, shift, option, and command. If I were using a Windows machine, it would simply label them with the Windows labels. Um, and there are a total of eight of these because there are four on the left-hand side and four on the right-hand side of your keyboard. Um, you probably know that that almost all applications, um, just they do the same thing, the right and left-hand ones, but there's a few special ones that they're actually different, and so we, we show all eight of them, and you can program all eight of them. So let's say um, I want to do Shift-K, um, so I hold down Shift, and then I tap K, type K, and so now um, the Shift flag is set, and when I tap my first finger, my index finger, it will send a, a capital K. Um, and I can do this with more than one flag at one time. So now I did uh, Command, Shift, and now I'm going to hit K, and now I release them. Um, so now these two flags are set, and they'll all be sent at the same time when I tap my middle finger. I can also use the mouse to set and to clear these flags, um, or I can do it with my keyboard, so either one. Um, all the way to the right here, there is a flag called Hold. And this is how we simulate a, a continuous pressing of a key. So let's say I want to, this is continuous fire, so I type K, and then I click on hold, um, and then I write uh, continuous fire. Okay, so now when I tap K, it's going to continue to send K until I again tap this finger. This is my, my ring finger in this case. Um, that covers pretty much all of the things that you can do right now with mapping. So um, by doing this, you can you can map to any key on your keyboard. Um, you can map on your fun your function keys. So let's say I wanted this to be um, F7. Um, any key that you see on your keyboard, and really any key that you see on any keyboard keyboard in any language um, or any special use keyboard, 
uh, can be mapped uh, using this technique. Um, okay, now um, when I'm done with this, uh, I'm going to export the file, and that's going to save the mapping. So we hit export. I have to create a name, which is say, this map. And this is going to save it to my default directory. Um, now, the easiest thing to do to get this up to your into your actual tap device um, is to save this to the cloud, um, to any um, any cloud service drive. So it could be iCloud or Dropbox or anything. And then you would just open up Tap Manager. Um, and when you want to load a new, new map, um, the browser in Tap Manager can actually find it and load it from the cloud directly. Um, otherwise, you can just save it locally and you can send it to your uh, mobile device uh, using an email or something like that. Um, so, so now I've, I've uh, done, just done that again. Okay. Um, I've also mentioned the glossary just to show you how that looks. Let's say I, I go, I'm going to just populate a few other things just so that it looks um, a little bit more interesting. So now I'm going to generate a glossary. It's also called this map. And if I want, I can add a description. Test. Um, and it generates this table, which is um, which makes it a lot easier to to share mappings and also to to learn the mapping, uh, to remember the mapping that you did. Um, so this is a kind of a nice tool. Um, this is just an on-screen display. If I want to make it a PDF, I do export to PDF. And I will again save it to my default directory. Um, I would um, of course uh, encourage all of you to share your maps if you think that other tappers would be interested in them. And if you do share them, uh, what you would do is uh, is upload um, both the the, um, the exported file, which is a, a file with a uh, txt extension, um, and the map the, the glossary file, which is a PDF file. Um, and I, I would upload them both to the to the um, forum um, along with the description of your of your map, and then other tappers can use it. Um, okay, some of these other um, keys. One of them is to clear everything. So uh, this is this is per table, so this cleared the single taps uh, for this table. Um, there is a function for loading the defaults. So let's say you want to just modify the alphabet that's already in your tap device, um, the one that ships by default with every tap device. Then this will load that alphabet, and then you can edit it. Uh, there's also an import tool. So let's say I want to import a map that I just did, for example, this map. Um, so I can just import it, and then I can edit it uh, and save it again. Uh, and that's pretty much all there is. Um, there's, a, there's an online um, uh, chat, which is uh, available during, uh, during business hours. Um, and there's also email support. So if you guys do run into any problems, um, please um, reach out to us, and we'd be happy to help you. And uh, good luck, and have fun mapping.